we have a slight change of pace from what we've been seeing lately with those dry and sunny conditions. We have clouds moving on shore with some rain showers hugging the coast right now. And we have some clouds moving into the area today, but surprisingly we still have a fairly strong UV index. It's going to feel cool compared to what we felt the last couple days as we saw a high of 97 yesterday, so 86 is a welcome change. The general motion of this system is mostly to the north-northeast, but it will slowly move inland. And we're getting a little taste of winter as we're going to be seeing some cool temperatures return to the area. We've issued a frost advisory and that's valid until 8 a.m. tomorrow for much of eastern Klamath County. Boy, did we have a windy day yesterday. Some heavier pockets of rain embedded in with the, within these light showers. What does it take to create thunderstorms in the atmosphere? So we have your high temperatures for today with temperatures getting into the mid to upper 90s. And we can take a look. We got those high temperatures. All right, check. Now we take a look at what else we need. We need moisture. Showers already in progress in the south coast and they will continue to linger into the afternoon. Temperatures scale back down to the upper 90s next week, but... That's something. That's something. <laughs> Not much, but I guess we have to take what we can get. Your golf forecast for today, you can see the morning is going to be down near in the low 60s, around 63 degrees. The sun will be out, but we might have some dew on the fairways that should burn off by around the 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock hour as temperatures get up near 82 degrees. We're going to be seeing rain for the first time in a few weeks. All the details coming up after the break. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Austin Gibbons. You can see we had a very warm day yesterday, reaching a high temperature of around 97 degrees. Still well below that record of 104 degrees. We're going to be seeing some changes around here as we're going to see temperatures really begin to cool down. Here's our weather maker for the next two days. We have a very substantial system off the coast. We have a cold front still about 300 miles off the coast, but we have the remnants of former tropical storm Ignacio beginning to move in front to the north of the cold front. This will begin to push the moisture inland and we'll be seeing light rain showers throughout most of the region, Northern California and Southern Oregon today. Now as we take a look at what we're seeing temperature wise right now, you can see mid to upper 50s throughout most of the area with Medford and Redding the only ones moving into the mid 60s. Now as we take a look at the south, or er, the zooming in on the Northwest Satellite Radar, you can see we have some embedded heavier showers within. For, mo for the most part it's going to be light rain showers throughout the region, but you could become impacted by one of these heavier showers. If so, it will be brief, but they have the potential to bring some heavy downpours. Now taking a look at what we're going to be seeing with South Coast, 65, 70 degrees with rain showers and winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The mountains, 75 to 85 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, with a chance of a shower leading into the afternoon. 80 to 85 degrees in the Klamath Basin. We're going to be seeing partly cloudy skies through most of the day in the Klamath Basin with a chance of showers, but we'll likely be seeing the showers begin to dissipate as they move further inland and possibly not impact the Klamath Basin as much as what we'll be seeing in the regions further to the west. Northern California, 80 to 90 degrees, slightly warmer, mostly cloudy skies with a chance of a shower. Grants Pass, 86 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, again, chance of a shower. The winds out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now taking a look at Ashland, slightly cooler, 82 degrees, partly cloudy skies, with that chance of a shower as we're seeing through much of the region, with winds holding out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour and the clouds will begin to dissipate as we move into the evening hours. Taking a look at Medford, 86 degrees, with winds out of the northwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Again, the showers will be present through most of the day. We won't be able to shake them, but we'll have substantial cloud cover through most of the day. Now taking a look at what we're going to be seeing tonight, we're going to see temperatures cool off into the mid-50s throughout most of the region. We can see down in Northern California, Mount Shasta, around 49 degrees. Klamath Falls, 44 degrees, and even Lakeview is going to be very chilly again as we could see temperatures for the low return to the upper 30s. So it's going to be very chilly as we move further to the west. Now taking a look at the seven-day forecast, the coast will be holding steady with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Today's showers will be present, but as we move into the weekend, the sun and partly cloudy skies will return and we'll have fairly pleasant weather with temperatures ranging from 66 to 68 degrees. The Klamath Basin, 81 for the next two days with partly cloudy skies. Chance of a shower today, but Saturday, Sunday, the sun will return. And by Monday through Wednesday, we're going to have gorgeous weather with mostly sunny skies and 84 degrees. But now taking a look at what we're going to be seeing in the valley, 
You can see temperature is 86 and 88 for the next two days, but it's going to be a very beautiful weekend as temperatures remain in the upper 80s. But by next week, the sun returns and we will have temperatures creep back into the lower 90s.